All right. Hello, internet friends. Evan Benton of Evdog from Air here with another update on the fascinating uh, debacle that is COVID-19. Um, and so we all know that the effects of this on children um, are unprecedented and you know, we, we know that we don't know what is going to happen uh, to an entire generation due to this, due to, to lockdowns and everything. Of course, the kids aren't getting sick, right? But they're having to wear masks, um, which is just so stupid. You know, no child has died from this illness. And I, I just don't, I don't know what the rationale is. I don't know what the rationale of parents who, are, you know, who could be so terrified as to, uh, Anyway, that's not what this video is about. I'm just looking at a study here, a study, uh, it's called Impact of the COVID-19 Pandemic on Early Child De Cognitive Development. Initial findings in a longitudinal observational study of child health. So a long title. And uh, long story short, they found a 21 point uh, drop in IQ. So average IQ is defined as a 100. They found the average IQ for their study group of uh, children bordering the quote unquote pandemic was 79. So that is borderline impaired. That is very, these children are going to have trouble for the rest of their lives. And that is absolutely sad and terrifying. Um, and it's a short study, so I'm not gonna really pull it up uh, till the very end, but I'm just gonna go through you know, the, the methods and all. So they were working with a group of children that they've been studying since 2011. So this is an ongoing study. So they had a control group to work from. So there's a total of 759 children in the study. Uh, 605 of them were born prior to COVID and then 154 were born during the COVID quote unquote pandemic. Um, so it's, it's not a massive study, but it's, it's big. Um, and they're using the, what are called the Mullen scales of early learning um, to evaluate the children's um, cognitive development. So they're not using an IQ test per se, but one of these uh, scales is said to be equivalent to an IQ. So that's where, um, if you've heard the figure that they're, you know, which I just said, that they're dropping their IQ is 21 points less. That's where it's coming from. Um, so one interesting point about this, this, this study is that they found that in their uh, calculations, uh, the perceived stress, which means self-identified stress of the mothers, uh, was unchanged throughout the study period, 2011 to 2021. Um, and so therefore it was not significantly uh, associated with the IQ drop. But they did note that other studies have found a lot of stress in parents or in mothers, and so they thought that maybe um, that could be just a, a quirk of their study group. Um, and then one, one thing they did not say, oh, I'll just read it here. So they said one aspect not investigated here is the impact of mask wearing by the study staff during child visits and assessments. So the, they're saying in this case that the measured IQ drop may partially be attributed to the fact that the, the study personnel were wearing masks and so the children had a difficult time um, understanding them. So and that's, gosh, I, I'd rather have that be the case than a 21 point drop in IQ, goodness sakes. Um, and then they, they conclude what, you know, what is unclear is if the uh, or observed I can't read my own writing. If the observed declines are temporary and will normalize after the the fake pandemic, and so uh, there's a lot there's a lot uh, of research that has shown that in our formative years, you know, the years uh, from birth till three, this is when our our brains really develop their capacity to learn, and so this study provides a lot of provide some evidence that children born during COVID and subject to the lockdowns and all um, have really had that ability hindered. 
So again, the study doesn't really look for the cause of, of the drop or the decline. It, it says that the, the uh, maternal, uh, self-reported maternal stress, mother's stress was not a factor. Um, and also no, nobody in the study had COVID. So COVID itself, the disease is not a factor. So basically what they're saying is that it's all the lockdowns, um, the social distancing, the closing of um, the, you know, the, the daycare centers and just the break in the routine that these parents, that these children uh, suffered so drastically from. So uh, I'll pull up the study here. Okay, here it is. Impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on early child cognitive development. And I'm just going to go down to the uh, proverbial money shot, as it were. So here's the graph where we're looking at the uh, decline in testing scores over the years. So we start in uh, 2011, and we're all within this uh, gray thing. And then 2020 falls off a cliff, right? And now, OK, verbal development, nonverbal development, um, pretty self-explanatory. Um, but early learning composite, this is a composite score made up of several of the, uh, the Mullen scales. And this one is the, the one that is, uh, equivalent, they say to an, an IQ score. Okay. So a hundred IQ would be normal. And we're in that range for all of, uh, the decade until we come down to, uh, 20. 2020 and 2021 and we just drop off the cliff and this is this is I guess the 79 um, <clears throat> so this is what we're really looking at this is what the you know the media that's talking about this study is looking at and these others I'm not I'm not sure exactly what they relate to but this is the overall all right which is what IQ is okay IQ is a measurement of a G or general intelligence. So this is something pretty close to that we're measuring here. And boy, um, pretty low. So we got some other graphs here. Um, as you can see, the uh, COVID didn't affect their birth weight or their uh, time in the womb. And then here's here's the graphs where they're just showing that the mother's stress stayed stayed consistent over time. And then I just wanted to show the bibliography here because, wow, these are all studies on the effects of the lockdowns on children. So I could spend, I could spend years looking at this stuff, but um, I'll post just a link to this video, or I'm sorry, this uh, article in the, the description of the video below. And if you want to check out any of these yourself, I would highly encourage it. Detection of postnatal de natal depression. So not, not everything's COVID here, but the COVID-19 pandemic, psychological stress during pregnancy and risk of neurodevelopmental disorders, a neglected consequence. You know, none of these studies, by the way, though, there's 55 of them, none of them are, are finding that there's no effect, right? They're all finding some significant effect. So just, just think about that. And then Lastly, I just have a little bit about IQ here, right? Here's 70 to 79, and we're looking at borderline impaired is what they're calling that. Alrighty, so these poor children. And if you want to, you can look down and see borderline impaired is a modern euphemism. So you can look down and see what they would have called that in uh, previous generations if you're so inclined. Uh, but at any rate, that's that study. Um, plenty more, as I, as I showed there plenty of studies of the effect on uh, children. So, you know, what we're really doing with this whole thing is we're trading the lives of very few uh, old people for the lives of an entire generation of young people. We're, um, so the COVID-19 has like a 99% survival rate even amongst the very, um, the very old and the, and the sick, right? And this is a study, uh, they mentioned some mitigating factors were um, being female and also having a, 
uh, coming from a, a better socioeconomic background. Um, but, you know, besides those two factors, that's basically every child is being affected by this. So this is terrifying. I want to scream. Um, I want to strangle some people, but this is what we're talking about, you know. Um, I had a video that got I had a video that got deleted for me talking about the effects, you know, just in a in a philosophical sense of you know we need to consider the fact that the the treatment might be worse than the disease in this sense, and that got that got taken down, so we can't even you know we can't even think about that possibility. But here we are. Uh, Children, uh, borderline morons, thanks to the lockdowns. Uh, this has been Evan Benton of Ev Dog from Air. Thank you, and have a pleasant evening.